Be sure to check out my Amazon affiliate store where you'll find a lot of the tools that I use in my shop. You'll also find a brief description of the tool and what I think of it. You'll find a link to my Amazon store in the description of the video. Sometimes in woodworking, it's important to have a blade set to 45 degrees really accurately. Now, this comes in handy when you're making boxes, for example, that have mitered edges along the length of the box. Now, probably the most popular method for aligning a table saw blade to 45 degrees is to use a 45 degree triangle. Now, you just take the 45 degree triangle and push it along the side of the blade, being careful not to make contact with the teeth. And then you can use filler gauges if you want to, to slide it in between the blade and the triangle, all while making adjustments to the angle until you have a really nice tight fit between the triangle and the blade. Now, another popular method is uh, using a digital angle gauge finder. Now, these usually have magnets on the bottom and they just place them along the side of the blade. Then you make adjustments to the angle of the blade until you reach 45 degrees. Now, the one that I was looking at online that is a really popular model these days is only accurate to 0.2 degrees or plus or minus 0.2 degrees. Um, now, this might be okay for some things in woodworking, but uh, when you're making a project and you really have to have a very accurately set 45 degree angle blade, it uh, may not be good enough for the project that you're working on. If you've been a longtime subscriber of my channel, you might remember five years ago when I made this dial indicator jig to set your table saw blade to 90 degrees quickly and accurately. Now, we can also use this same concept to set the table saw blade to 45 degrees accurately and quickly as well. But I'm going to need to make a new jig because this dial indicator plunger is too high for the table saw blade. So I'm gonna to need to make a new jig so that the dial indicator will sit lower and uh, we can then use it to set the table saw blade to 45 degrees. Now, because I showed uh, five years ago how to make this jig, I'm gonna just real quickly go through the process and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. And I'm going to link to the video where I made this one. And you'll find the link in the description of the video below. Because I mentioned the accuracy of that popular digital angle gauge being around plus or minus 0.2 degrees, I wanted to also go over the accuracy or the potential accuracy of using this method. Now, it's going to depend on two things primarily. The accuracy is going to depend on the accuracy of your dial indicator, and it's also going to depend on the accuracy of your 45 degree angle block. This dial indicator has an accuracy of plus or minus one thousandths of an inch. Now, if we assume for a second that this method of setting your blade to 45 degrees has no other sources of error, we would have an angle error of plus or minus 0.037 degrees, which is not too bad. But uh, another source of error involved in using this method is gonna come from your 45 degree angle block. Now, you can find these on the internet, with a very high degree of accuracy, and you can get them with uh, an accuracy of plus or minus 0.01 degrees for less than $100. But if you spend even more money, you can find these with even higher degrees of accuracy. Now, there are lesser degrees of accuracy where you can spend less money, but uh, it's gonna depend on the kind of work that you're doing and how accurate you actually wanna be with this method. Before we can use our dial indicator jig to set our table saw blade to 45 degrees, we need to first calibrate it to 45 degrees using our gauge block. And I'm using a nice flat granite surface plate in order to calibrate it. So I'm just gonna rest the body of the jig on the granite surface plate and then pull the plunger of the dial indicator back 
And then with the gauge block resting on the granite surface plate and then making contact with the lower screw, I'm going to release the plunger until the stylus makes contact with the gauge block. And now I can just adjust the bezel of the dial indicator until it reads zero. And now I'm calibrated for 45 degrees. I've already tilted my table saw blade to 45 degrees by using the graduations on the front of the table saw. And now I can fine tune it by using my dial indicator jig. So I'm just gonna push the jig into the side of the blade with the plunger retracted and then slowly release the plunger. And as you can see, it's not reading zero. So I need to make adjustments to the angle of the blade until I get zero. Right there. If you wanted to, you could spin the blade and take a second reading just to make sure. And it's measuring about close to 1,007 inch. It's actually in between zero and one. And we could spin it again and take a third reading. And it's measuring about 1,007 inch again. And if I could just give out one more info nugget while I'm over here, go ahead and take your positive stops for both 45 degrees and even your 90 degree positive stop. Back those off, don't, don't, don't use them because they get clogged up with sawdust. Sawdust gets in between the positive stop and whatever mechanism is on the inside of the saw and uh, they lose their effectiveness. So they become unreliable. So I, I have both of mine backed off and when I want to set my table saw blade to 45 degrees, I just check it each time with the dial indicator and the same thing with 90 degrees. If you don't already own a dial indicator, do yourself a favor and go get one. They're such an incredible useful tool to have in the shop. And you can find a decent dial indicator for less than $30. And I think I've probably demonstrated already maybe a half a dozen different uses for them on my channel uh, already. So assuming you already have a dial indicator, the only thing that you would probably need to buy to use this method would be the 45 degree angle block. And like I mentioned, you can find decent ones for under $100. So you don't need to spend a huge amount of money on a really high accuracy 45 degree angle block. Um, so let me address one more thing. So because I'm using a dial indicator in this uh, method, I know I'm gonna get comments around accuracy and what accuracy is really required for woodworking and blah, blah, blah. So let me just address that uh, before I end this. Um, so for me, using a dial indicator, it's more about speed. It's about setting up my tools quickly. I can use my dial indicator jigs and, and very quickly set up my tools and walk away knowing that they're set up properly. I don't have to make any test cuts. Um, as, you, as, you, as you saw when I, when I set up my table saw for 45 degrees, I didn't even turn it on. I never even made a single test cut. And I can guarantee you that my saw the blade is tilted to 45.0 whatever degrees. So it's a very accurate method and it's quick. So I wanna emphasize that this is, is really more about speed. The accuracy is just a, a give me. It just comes along for the ride. So uh, let me end it there. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. See you guys next time. If you think the stuff I'm doing here is kinda cool, please consider supporting Garage Woodworks through Patreon. You'll find a link to my Patreon page in the description below and also in the first comment.